Okay, over here in the ES1 on the right hand side, what we have is the amplifier section and it's a place where you can determine how note velocity will control the amplifier section, the loudness of the sound, and also the filter. And we'll see how that works in just a minute. So in this sequence, what I have here is just a series of pitches and each one has varying velocities. Using HyperDraw, you can see the changes in velocity and also, of course, the difference in color in the Piano Roll Editor. And it's just a series of the note C. And we're going to look first at this control here. This control determines how note velocity changes the amplitude of each of the notes in the synth in the ES1. I'm going to set this here and what this is is the range between the lowest and the highest note velocities and how they control the amplifier and with both lowest and highest set to the same setting when I go ahead and play this sequence all the notes have the same amplitude it's really working now just as a gate if you think about it turning the synth on and off if I set the lowest velocity down to the bottom of the range, it means that now we have full range of loudnesses from the amplifier based on the note velocity, like so. Notice how the first couple of notes were barely audible because the velocities are so low. You can set the bottom of the range to something a little higher so that the lowest possible note velocities are a louder output from the amplifier, like so. Also over here, we have the ADSR via velocity control, and that has to do with the filter. We have the ADSR over here. We looked at an ADSR in an earlier movies, and it controls the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the amplifier section, so that if I play different notes and have a longer attack, for example, you can hear. how each note ramps up because it has a longer attack time. Well, the ADSR also can control the filter cutoff, and you can control how that works with the ADSR via velocity control. So here, for example, I'm going to have a fast attack time, and I'm going to have the filter cutoff set here, and we'll listen to it one more time, and I'm going to set the actual loudnesses to something a little more equivalent like so. And now I'm going to increase ADSR via velocity in a positive way, which means that higher note velocities will increase the filter cutoff, like so. And as the notes got louder, they got brighter. We can double check this by setting the range for the amplifier to be the same for soft and high velocities like so. And now you can hear clearly that the only change is that the filter opened up as the note velocities got higher. This little icon lets you reset ADSR via velocity and you can go the other way as well and have filter cutoff lowered as you have lower note velocities, like so. Over here in this section, what we can choose is how much of the ADSR envelope actually controls the amplifier section. So what I've done is I've set here the range of velocities both all the way at full, which means all of these note velocities will give us full output from the amplifier. And I have a short attack, I have a fairly short release here, and I have a fairly short decay to a very low sustain level. So with the ADSR controlling the amplifier, the notes sound like this. And you can hear the short decay going to a much lower sustain level. 
If I choose a gate R, gate means that the note just stays on, only the attack and release phases of the ADSR envelope control the amplifier, and it would sound like this. And you can hear that the note stays at a static loudness level. There is no decay and no lower sustain portion. Gate R means that the attack control doesn't actually affect anything about the uh, amplitude envelope. If I have A gate R on and I use a longer attack time, you'll hear the attack ramp up. Sounds like this. And with gate R, the attack is no longer part of the control of the amplifier, only the release. Like so. In all cases, I always have the release and I can set a longer or short release time. The reason why you'd want this is the ADSR, as we saw, also controls the filter cutoff at the same time you can choose how much of the ADSR controls the amplifier section. And that's using the amplifier section controls of the ES1.